Lee is the chief economist at the Milken Institute. And I am wondering if this is all that meets the eye. We can just take the numbers <laughs> as is. There are, you know, more evidence that despite rumors to the contrary, right, this is a very healthy economy. Wondering what you saw in all of this. There is no question the stock market is cheering. It's taking away the fears of a recession. And, and this is a very good market report. But as a car carrying member of the dismal science, uh, I have to say, uh, <laughs> there are some clouds on the horizon. And, and I want to make sure that our audience show, sees that. One thing to look, when I look through, through the headlines, mo two thirds of the job growth has been in hospitality, leisure, and social assistance and, and healthcare. These are very low wage paying sectors. So the jobs that are being created are not giving a lot of income to people who are getting these jobs. And that's been one of the problems that's plagued the, the Biden administration for the last four years. The, the job growth has been in relatively low paying jobs. And people are saying, I, I'm barely making ends meet. I'm having to make uh, do with two or three jobs just to be able to, 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 to pay all my bills. And that is something that seems to be persistent. And in this jobs report, it's been even more amplified because, as I said, two thirds of the job growth has been in these low wage sectors. It is such a good reality check that is based on the data. As we were speaking, we yeah. were just showing that the construction jobs were 25,000, not enough for what this economy needs. And as you said, for those good paying jobs that are going to lift people or keep people in the middle class. So I ask you, when it comes to politics and that all important consumer sentiment, why do you believe we have that divergence? Because if you look at U.S. consumer sentiment, it, it is split. You have Democrats feeling pretty good about the economy. And yet you have the majority of Republicans saying not so much. Is that real? Is, are, are they feeling the effects of jobs are plentiful, but you've got to keep two of them to actually stay in the middle class? I think everyone has been cautioning people to not take all the news uh, on one side. And I, un unfortunately, the politics have skewed the way people look at the same set of data. Uh, it, the, the numbers that came up came from two surveys. One is number of payrolls, number of jobs that are being created. But the other one is the number of people that actually got these jobs. And if you look at the Biden administration for the last uh, of, uh, you know, year to date, uh, there have been 200,000 jobs being created on average, but only 76,000 people, new people getting employed and having these new jobs. That, get, that goes back to my story of people are having to get second and third jobs just to make ends meet. And that, I think, explains that split in the sentiment survey. The people are getting second and third jobs and saying, hey, I'm working my tail off just to make ends meet. And those are the higher paying jobs in manufacturing and, and, and construction are saying, hey, I'm doing pretty well. So, so I think uh, I don't think it's along Democrat versus Republican lines that we find the split, but rather the type of jobs that are being gotten by the various people answering the survey. Yeah, interesting. And then one could certainly align with the other. You have for months now been predicting that, in fact, white collar jobs would really be at risk. Do you still believe that's true? Do you see any robustness in these numbers or in the economy itself that will tell you that, no, those good paying jobs, if they're not here right now, those white collar jobs, they will stay, uh, they will be well paying and they will increase? I want to go back to the data again, and, and even in this month's data, the professional services and, and, and office workers type jobs that are higher paying barely grew. In fact, manufacturing jobs, which are very high paying, actually declined again. Um, whereas, as I said, all the jobs that were being created were in the, the restaurants, hotels, uh, and social workers. Uh, so these are, in my mind, the lower skilled, white collar and, 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 and uh, office type jobs that are being automated and replaced by technology and especially artificial intelligence. And when we do that deep dive into the numbers there, do you believe that there is reason to expect that there is a depression in wages right now? I mean, uh, President Biden, uh, pardon, pardon me, President, former President Trump has continued to say that this influx of migration um, is depressing wages. Meanwhile, if you look at what the Federal Reserve has written in its report, it's actually said that, that immigration has actually lifted the economy somewhat. I mean, what do you see in the numbers? It has lifted the economy because more and more people are available to fill these low paying jobs, which really went went uh, wanting because a lot of people said, hey, I don't want to work this stuff. I want to go to get a nice office job that's that's relatively high paying and cushy. But those unfortunately entry level jobs are being done away with by technology. Immigration actually has uh, allowed the economy to, to keep pumping at a three percent pace uh, of growth. 
Um, but unfortunately, a lot of the jobs have gone to immigrants, and, and, and a lot of American citizens now are saying, hey, I might actually consider these lower-paying jobs just to get that second and third job to make ends meet, and now I'm competing with them. So there's an element of truth on both sides. Immigration has spurred growth all in the aggregate, but in terms of competing with our U.S. citizens, uh, that's absolutely true that more citizens are now wanting the jobs that are now going to the lower-paid immigrants. And it goes a long way to explaining why the political picture is still so uh, complicated a uh, month out from the election. William Lee, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.